last class I have discussed about the settlement of pile foundation, how we can determine the settlement of pile in a group which is which are installed, these piles are installed in different types of soil. So, today I will discuss about the design of a pile group uh, considering both bearing capacity as well as the settlement criteria. So, this is the design problem. So, design a pile group consisting of RCC pile for a column of size 650 millimeter cross 650 millimeter and this column is carrying a total load of 1500 kilo Newton. So, that amount of load is coming to the pile group. So, the soil data um, reveal that the subsoil consists of deposit of clay extending to a great depth. So, that means, the piles are installed in a homogeneous clay bed and the total uh, the other data uh, are the compression index which is that C C is 0.1 of that soil initial void ratio E 0 is 0.9 and saturated unit weight gamma sat is 20 kilo Newton per meter cube. An unconfined compressive strength Q is 70 kilo Newton per meter square. Now, we have to design the pile group such that the permissible settlement is 40 mm. Now, design the pile group by considering both bearing and settlement criteria. The water table is considered at ground level, use a factor of safety 2.5 against bearing and assume adhesion factor is 0.7. Now, as uh, um, this data you can uh, see that it is unconfined compressive strength of the soil. So, that means, as I mentioned that unconfined compressive strength of the soil is 70 kilo Newton per meter square. So, the undrained cohesion C u will be Q u divided by 2. So, this will be 70 divided by 2 35 kilo Newton per meter square. So, cohesion is 35 kilo Newton per meter square. Now, if you uh, go back to the uh, uh, next slide. So, 35 kilo Newton per meter square C u value it is the medium clay. Okay. So, for the medium clay RCC pile it is uh, adhesion factor is 0 0.7. So, this is the adhesion factor which is 0.7 and that is the addition factor we have uh, considered for this design. And one more thing that in this design we will use uh, this chart uh, when we determine the Fox uh, depth correction, because in the in the shallow foundation design we use the upper portion of this curve okay, that we use this value for the shallow foundation design. So, this is we use for the shallow foundation design. Now, here in the deep foundation design or the pile foundation design, we use the lower part of this curve. Okay. This is remember that root over L B divided by D F or D, D F is the depth of the foundation. So, you will lower part and then this is the depth factor that you will calculate and these values as usual this is for L by B. Okay. So, but we will use the lower part for the Pauli foundation. So, now uh, we will start the design of this uh, problem. So, for the design part, so we are assuming that for this total load we are taking first trial that 9 number of piles. Okay. So, this is the first trial we are <coughs> 
considering. So, this is assume. So, we are considering the 9 number of piles and the distribution of the piles are like this. Okay. So, that is the total number of piles and we have assumed that that will take 9 piles and the length of the piles that we are taking is 15 meter. Okay. And the diameter of the pile we are considering as 400 millimeter. So, this is for the first trial and the S the spacing between the piles as it is in uh, clay soil. So, as per IS uh, core recommendation that minimum spacing between the two piles should be the twice D. So, that means, we are considering twice D. So, this is for 2 into 400. So, this value is 800 millimeter. So, this is the minimum spacing. So, spacing uh, provided is 1000 millimeter. So, we are taking the diameter of the pile is 400 millimeter and spacing we are providing 1 meter or 1000 millimeter length of the length of the pile is 15 meter. So, first uh, this is the first trial and we have assumed this value and then we have to check it against bearing capacity and the settlement and then we will uh, then we will see whether this uh, dimension of the pile or the pile group is ok or not. So, this is the diameter of the pile which is we have considered is 400 millimeter. Now, this is the settlement of the uh, spacing between the pile that we are providing as 1000 millimeter. Okay. So, and we are providing uh, uniform spacing that uh, uh, between all the piles. So, the outside dimension of this pile group is. So, if we say this is because it is a square uh, pile group. So, we can say that B is equal to twice S plus D because this is the S is between from here to here. So, there will be twice A plus the half diameter for this side and half diameter for this side. So, twice D uh, twice S into D. So, 2 into 1000 plus 400. So, that is equal to 2400 0 millimeter or 2.4 meter. Similarly, L is equal to B is equal to 2.4 meter. So, that is the dimension of this dimension of the pile group. So, now first we will check the bearing capacity. then we will check the settlement. So, bearing capacity. So, we are first we are doing that single pile failure okay, or single pile capacity. So, we are taking Q u is C u n c a b plus alpha C u a s. Okay. So, C u value is 35 because C u value is Q u divided by 2 70 by 2 35 kilo Newton per meter square. Okay. So, C u is 35 n uh, 35. N c value is 9 and for the single pile this is pi d square divided by 4 and for the friction part alpha is 0 0.7 C u is 35 because it is a homogeneous clay. Then the single pile pi d l is 15 meter. So, we can see this is 39.6 plus 4 62 
this is 501.6 kilo Newton. So, the single pile capacity is 501.6 kilo Newton. So, pile group capacity in terms of single pile failure will be n into q u u okay, or q u u s single. So, n is 9 and q u u is 501.6. So, that is equal to 4514 kilo Newton. Okay. So, this is the bearing capacity as per the single pile failure. So, next we will do for the group pile failure. So, bearing capacity we will calculate for group or block failure. Okay. So, in the block failure again q u u g will be that c u n c, c u is 35, n c is 9, but in that case area will be 2.4 meter square. So, because the dimension of the pile was 2.4 meter, so area of this base will be 2.4 meter square and then alpha value will be equal to 1, because as I mentioned for the group uh, block failure, the addition between the soil and soil. So, alpha value will be 1, 1 and then C u is 35 and then the length of the pile is 15 and then the perimeter of that block. So, perimeter of that block will be 2 into 2.4 plus 2.4. Okay. So, that is the perimeter of this block 2.4 plus 2.4 into 2 because your B is equal to L. So, now if I get this value, if I calculate these uh, values, then it will come out, uh, it will come 1814 plus 5040. So, that is 6854 kilo Newton. So, as per the block failure it is 6854 kilo Newton, as for the single pile failure it is 4514 kilo Newton. So, the minimum value is this one 4514 kilo Newton. So, pile group car carrying capacity U G will be 4514 kilo Newton. So, the Q U G safe is 4514 divided by 2.5 that is the factor of safety and that is coming out to be 1804 kilo Newton and which is greater than 1500 kilo Newton. So, it is safe because your total load is coming 1500 kilo Newton and your pile can pile group can take 1804 kilo Newton. So, it is safe. Now, next one we will calculate the settlement of the pile, settlement of the pile group. So, as uh, I have mentioned that if you have a pile group and this is the pile group and the pile cap and then this is total 3 piles because you have a 3 cross 3 pile group. So, this is 3 piles. Okay. Then and this soil is a homogeneous clay. So, in that condition as I mentioned that we will assume that this is a wrapped foundation and this wrapped load or the stress is acting at a distance two third of L from the top of the pile. Okay. So, this is the ground surface or G L. So, this is the raft is acting here and this is one third of L. So, L is 15 meter. 
So, this will be 5 meter and this will be 10 meter okay? as L is equal to 15 meter. So, we are assuming that your raft is acting here at a depth of 10 meter below the ground level because for the homogeneous clay that is the condition. So, the uh, unit weight or saturated unit weight gamma sat is equal to 20 kilo Newton per meter cube and C c is equal to 0.1 and E 0 value is equal to 0.9. Okay. So, the width of this wrap, width of this wrap will be again 2.4 meter. Okay. So, width of this wrap will be again 2.4 meter. So, the influence area will be the influence zone below the raft will be twice b. So, 2 into 2.4. So, this will be 4.8 meter and up to this is 5, uh, 5 meter. So, we will take this 4.8 meter below this raft. This is the influence zone okay, because we are calculating settlement. So, this will be twice b. So, again when the total load is coming Q n that stress intensity is 1500 is the kilo Newton is the total load coming on this pile group and then the dimension of this raft is 2.4 cross 2.4. So, this is 260 kilo Newton per meter square. This, so, this intensity of loading is 260 kilo Newton per meter square. Okay. So, the dimension of the raft again it will be L is equal to B is equal to 2.4 meter. Okay. So, I can write that how I will calculate the settlement. So, you know that there are two types of settlement one is immediate settlement. and immediate for the immediate settlement you are considering that as I mentioned if nothing is uh, given then E is equal to 750 Cu is, is a reasonable uh, E value for normally considered as clay. So, this is also 750 Cu we are taking. So, this will be equal to 750 into 35 that is equal to 26250 kilo Newton per meter square. So, the immediate settlement is Q n B divided by E 1 minus mu square I f. Okay. So, Q n is 260, B is 2.4, E value is 2625. 0 and mu value we are taking 0.5 square and I f per square footing is 1.12. So, from the table we will get I f equal to 1.12 for L by B is equal to 1 and mu we are taking 0.5. Okay. So, from here we are getting that settlement is 20 millimeter. Okay. So, settlement we are getting 20 millimeter and then next one we will get. Okay. So, now we have to apply uh, corrections. So, it is a raft we are assuming. So, it is a rigid foundation. So, we have to apply two corrections. One is rigidity correction, another is the depth correction for immediate settlement. So, we will uh, apply this correction. 
So, first correction is the rigidity correction. So, that is equal to 0 0.8 and depth correction is equal to 0 0.57. From the chart. So, as I mentioned, you have to use the lower part of this chart. So, my root L B divided by D F is equal to root 2.4 cross 2.4 L B and D F value is 10. Because if you look at this uh, figure, here your raft is placed at the 10 meter below the ground or ground level. So, the depth of the wrap you have to consider as 10 meter. So, this is the 10 meter. So, this value is 0 0.24 and your L by B is equal to 1. So, the correction factor will come 0 0.57. Okay. So, the corrected immediate settlement will be 20 into 0 0.8 into 0 0.57 that is equal to 9.12 millimeter. So, next one we will do the consolidation settlement. Okay. So, you know the uh, expression is C C 1 plus E 0 log H log 10 P 0 bar plus del P P 0 bar. Okay. So, if I look at this figure, so the influence zone is 4.8 meter and it is a homogeneous layer. So, we will take our layer or the point is at A, which is 2.4 meter from the base of the raft, because total thickness of the layer is 4.8 meter and the middle of that layer is 2.4 meter below the base of the raft. So, at 2.4 meter below the base of the raft, so the P 0 bar at point A, the P 0 bar is equal to because water table is at ground level. So, water table is also at ground level. So, water table is ground level. So, you have to consider the submerged unit weight of the soil. So, P 0 bar will be for the, so that means total thickness or the total depth will be of this point A 10 meter plus 2.4 meter. So, 12.4 meter from the ground level. Okay. So, you can write that P 0 bar is because water table is at the ground level. So, finally, I can write 10 plus 2.4 meter and unit weight is 20 minus 10. 10 is the unit weight of water, 10 kilo Newton per meter cube uh, uh, taken as the unit weight of water. So, we can write this is 1 to 4 kilo Newton per meter square and del P again we will consider as twist to 1 distribution at point 2.4 uh, meter below the wrap. So, this is the same 1 is to 2 distribution we will, we will consider. So, it will be 260 into 2.4 into 2.4 divided by 2.4 plus 2.4 into 2.4 plus 2.4. Okay. So, this is 65 kilo Newton per meter square. Okay. So, the finally, the consolidation settlement 
will be C C is 0.1, 1 plus E 0 is 0 0.9 and H will be 4.8 meter because that is the influence zone and log 10 P 0 bar is 2 1 2 4 plus 65 divided by 1 2 4. Okay. So, this is 46.2 millimeter. So, here the uh, correction factors for consolidation settlement is depth correction factor, rigidity correction factor and the correction factor due to poor water pressure. Okay. So, the correction factors first the rigidity correction factor is 0 0.8, then depth correction factor again 0 0.57 and pore water pressure correction factor. As I mentioned that for the uh, normally consolidated clay, if nothing is given, so 0 0.7 is a reasonable value for the pore water correction factor. So, 0 0.7 you have to consider. If this value is given, you have to consider that value. So, the uh, P C corrected is 46.2 into 0 0.8 into 0 0.57 into 0 0.7. So, that is equal to 15 millimeter. So, the total settlement or corrected settlement is equal to 9.12 plus 15 millimeter. So, this is 24 millimeter which is less than 40 millimeter that is the permissible settlement. So, it is safe or ok. okay? So, from here we can see that not only we have to uh, check the bearing capacity, we have to also check the settlement of a pile foundation. So, this is the total design procedure, we have to check the bearing capacity first as a uh, single pile failure, then as a block failure, then the minimum one we have to consider as a um, load carrying capacity of the pile group, then you have to consider the uh, calculate the settlement and then uh, we'll, we have to check whether that settlement is within permissible limit or not. So, in the next class I will discuss about the negative skin friction of pile which is also a very important topic. Thank you.